Here mid-January, something we I don't think we've ever had, three managerial openings a month, little less than a month, for pitchers and catchers report. Right, and if you're one of those teams, where do you turn? I'm going to focus in on the Houston Astros. We know they've already interviewed Buck Showalter. I reached out to Buck today to ask him about that. There's Buck's resume. In typical Buck fashion, he did not want to get into a ton of specifics. He said that his meeting with owner Jim Crane did go well. He expects that they will talk again. But as I was thinking about this, if you're the Astros and you're dealing with this crisis right now, you need a crisis manager. You need a guy with experience who has dealt with minefields before. That person is Buck Showalter. He was a coach with the Yankees when George Steinbrenner was fire, uh, suspended many years ago. He was a manager when George Steinbrenner came back. He navigated all that. He was uh, in Baltimore with the Orioles when the riots occurred, so much so that they couldn't even allow fans to come to a game. They played fa they played beside an empty stadium. He clashed with Alex Rodriguez while he was at Texas. His first managerial, it's, uh, he had a manager, it wasn't his first, the Yankees was first. He had a job with the Arizona Diamondbacks where they started from ground zero. They had nothing. They had to start that franchise out. And he dealt with all of that smoothly and swimmingly. If I'm Jim Crane, I'm taking a very long look at a guy like Showalter to come in and try and clean up this mess. Yeah, not only take care of the crisis and get ahead of it, Jack, but he's a qualified major league manager who has won a ton of games who, if he got that job, would have a very talented team that is ready to win again. So, I mean, he checks all the boxes to be the leader of that team. But I think about it from the Yankee perspective. Last spring training, the Yankees were trying to figure out how can we match up with the Houston Astros and their big boys in the rotation to try to get to a World Series. Obviously, they didn't get that far. But you think now, coming into spring training, the Houston Astros have taken a step back. Garrett Cole is a New York Yankee. They've gone through all this controversy this winter. They don't know who their manager is going to be. So I'm not saying that the Yankees are sitting there kind of enjoying this. But when you're sizing up the competition, Houston's taken a step back. The Boston Red Sox are a mess right now. So when the Yankees get to Tampa, they know clearly that they're the favorite to win a World Series. And some of the other teams that we're talking about that have taken a step up, I think of the Angels. People say the White Sox are better. I'm not sure that they're necessarily battle-tested in the way that we would have thought the Red Sox and Astros always seem to be in competition for the postseason. Right, and I think uh, Flash is exactly right when you look at what the Yankees have been able to do. Adding Cole made their offseason a success before anything else happened, and now they should just have blinders on. They shouldn't even be worried about the Red Sox or the Astros and what they're going through right now. Just be focused on what you think you can do, which for them is winning a World Series. I mean, Vegas has the odds out, and the Yankees are the favorite to win it all. You know, Jack, I wonder when the players get to spring training, though, are you going to to be asking questions about this whole Houston Astro thing because obviously I think they're going to have to to speak to it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, myself and several others, but if you're one of the teams that feels as if you were victimized by that, I think it's easier to answer the question than you're one of the protagonists. I think it'll be a lot tougher for Jose Altuve when spring training rolls around. Great baseball conversation. We'll do it again on Tuesday night, 6:30. See you then.